Welcome back, everybody. Decisive evidence, the first testimony from Gumshoe, no less. Yes, sir. There's something even more incriminating than the glasses under the victim's body, sir. During his date, the victim was pushed from the bench area. But he managed to wipe the culprit's name on the ground where he landed. Jesus, oh. everybody does this. <laughs> I don't like saying it, but... It was clearly the defendant's name, Maggie, sir. Maybe he was just like, I love you, Maggie. With this piece of evidence and the glasses, it's hard to see she's not the culprit. <laughs> I guess he's actually more sad there. I just always feel like whenever Gumshoe's describing a crime, he gets all sinister. Or like <laughs> really grave, like he's mm. telling a horror story. This is a picture of the writing, your honor. Why, this is... Yes, I can see the name is clearly written here. The prosecution would like to submit this picture. It is very nice handwriting for a dying man. Yeah, yeah. sure is. Mm -hmm. oh, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, Maggie. Understood, the court accepts it into evidence. Crime photo two added to the court record. As if the glasses alone didn't make you look suspicious. The victim even wrote your name clear as day on the ground! <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Phoenix is gonna have elements of, of Shaggy in him, too. <laughs> <laughs> I already told you, those glasses aren't mine! And, and how do you explain the dying message? It's a conspiracy! I'm not guilty, sir! Could have been writing anything, like Maggie's innocent. He just well, died before I mean, he finished. Maya's dying sister Mia wrote her name, and she's a fucking top prosecutor mm. who didn't know better than to do that. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Holy shit. Yeah, balls. Jesus, guys. <laughs> Jesus. It's possible there was a chat derp and it just caught up or something. <laughs> oh, are they saying that I just spoiled the first game? <laughs> Or something? I don't no, know chat happened. died for a oh, minute. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. <clears throat> Cross-examine. That's it. I'm counting on you. It's more of, this is it, I'm counting on you. Oh, this you. is yeah. it. Sure, but what am I supposed to do? What? <laughs> this isn't like you at all. Normally, this is the part where you get in the witnesses' faces. Get in their faces and do what? <laughs> I guess there's no way around it. Okay. I'm gonna lend you a hand. The prosecution's witness, witnesses all hide things from the court, which means they lie from time to time. Lie? But isn't that the def that detective your superior? Well, even if they don't mean to lie, sometimes it's just people remember things wrong. Hmm, like that detective. He does sort of look like a scatterbrain. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Either way, it's bad for us, sir. That's why when you question witnesses, you'll have to find and expose their lies. <clears throat> Is the chat still derped? Because it froze again there. Doesn't seem like it's moving. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. Y yes, your honor. Talk about trial by fire. Here goes nothing. As long as I can... Expose the lies, we should be all right. What the fuck is going on with the chat? Some crazy shit it's there. It's like your thing can't be over it because then it wouldn't move at all. Jesus. All right, here we go. All right, sweet. There's something even more incriminating. All right, so we're going to be cross examining here, pressing him on this. Hmm, about those glasses. Do you have any proof that those belonged to my client? The lenses are for nearsightedness, and there's almost the same strength as hers. Even the frames look kind of like the one she's wearing in her ID pal. Hmm, what should I do now? Continue pressing. Can't be any repercussions now. Yeah. Hold it! Almost and kinda are not enough yeah. in a case like yeah, this. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Uh, um... Do you have any definitive proof? 
Is there something clearly links the defendant with those glasses? <laughs> um, uh, the dirt and the sand rubbed out any traces of fingerprints or anything else. So what you're saying, detective, is that you have nothing that proves those glasses are my clients. Uh, something like that. What? what, what? I see. Hmm. So there is no proof. Wow! That was amazing! I could totally feel it down in my gut! <clears throat> During his date with the victim, they were pushed from the bench. Alright. Now, you're sure he was pushed and that's how he fell? Yeah, pal. If you look at the wounds in the victim's body, there's no way it was anything else. Hmm. Please continue with your testimony, detective. Anyway, the victim fell pretty far. Fell pretty far, pushed from a bench? bench? They were like on a kind of seawall type yeah. thing. Okay. But he managed to wipe the couple's name on the ground. The culprit's name? Yeah, I was surprised too. I didn't want to believe it, but... Was the name that of my client? Looks like it's back to normal, kinda. I don't like saying it, but it is clearly the defendant's name, Maggie, sir. Are you absolutely certain? Surely, pal, but that's what it said. This is a picture of it. No matter, no matter, no, no matter, what? No, no, no matter. No. Which way you look at it, it says Maggie. I think that's a typo. No, or like, no matter. Huh. Hmm, he's got a point. <laughs> hey, hmm. hold on. Huh? Don't huh, me. I know the picture says Maggie, but. Now that she mentions it, something does feel kind of off about this picture. Oh, that's how you know you found a contradiction. Now hurry up and present some evidence. So that's what was what spotting a contradiction feels like. I better check the court record again. All right. So what was the contradiction back there? Uh, here. Let's see what it. Got my mind on a lot of things here. Keeping an eye on the chat. Picture, you look at it, it says Maggie. It's got a point. Hey, I don't. Hold on. Don't want me. I know that the picture says Maggie, but. It's kind of off a bit in the picture. M A G G I E. Uh, what the fuck's off about it? How he keeps going on the E? M A. Yeah. He's really left-handed. Oh, that maybe would be it does typical, have something but to do with the hand. Let me see what the evidence is. Well, we'll press the last statement. Okay. With this piece of evidence in the glasses, it's hard to say she's not the culprit. And you're certain that it was the victim who wrote the name on the ground? There were scratches on the fingers from the rough sand. And there were grains of sand stuck under the pointer fingernail, sir. Hmm. It certainly seems that the, the name was written by the victim himself. That didn't go well. If it really was him, then we're in a lot of trouble. Don't give up! That's the fight- uh, keep that fighting spirit going! I'm glad you're all pumped up, but... I really want to see your special move, sir! My what?! You always look so cool when you present evidence. Present... evidence? Oh, that present evidence. <laughs> Actually, I was just thinking about that. Yes! The great Phoenix Wright is back! Oh, that's right! Huh? I heard that lately you can present not only evidence, but people's profiles as well. Oh. I'm sure it make, makes things a bit more complicated, so be careful, sir. 
people's profiles, huh? All right, let's give this another try. Okay, I'm gonna flip through here to the one that we need to contradict or found the contradiction, apparently. We'll go into, okay. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Uh, let me look at the profiles then. <laughs> oh! Oh. <laughs> See the contradiction? M-A-G-G-I-E. -E. Was oh. what he wrote. Yeah. E-Y. Maggie Bird, my client. The, so the victim sp spelled her name wrong. The only thing I can re or it was maybe it was another Maggie. Mm -hmm. Maybe. The only thing I can recall is that she's a policewoman. 22. 30. The victim and a policeman. It seems that he was dating the defendant Maggie Bird. That's weird. 22. Nah, he's good looking, right? Yeah. It's no, it, it's weird, weird cuz I just can't see dating somebody that immature. 22 year olds aren't always immature. Not, not always, always, but a lot of them are, especially in this day and age. This day and age. Oh dude, everybody's a fucking man child now or mm -hmm. a girl woman child. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's true. They it, it's it's it, it, like more so this is one thing where it's not just me getting older. They've done like we've watched many yeah. stories yeah. on how this generation yes. is more childish than any previous. Mm. Yeah, and dependent on their They just don't parents. grow up. Hey, yeah. I'm 22! <laughs> <laughs> Sucker! Guys, 22 and 30 are miles apart. Uh, the prosecutor for his case lacks presence, generally bad at getting his point across. 31 male detective at the local precinct in charge of the initial investigation. Alright. So we should just present her... her uh, Profile. Profile. Yeah, man. Ready? Is Our it first an one. Objection? Do it. You think it, or maybe it's take that. Take that! Oh, it's objection. Objection. <laughs> it should be take that, isn't it? Isn't it supposed to be? Nah, you hurt my feelings. Oh man, I just like alienated our prime yeah, demographic. Yeah, totally did. A lot of Guys, people. I know what it's like to be 22, all fresh-faced and peachy keyed, and you I'm think renting you, an apartment. You I'm think awesome. You know everything. And... <laughs> I was a dick at 22. He was. I thought I it was the best. Immature. I knew him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We had our stuff together, man. What is it? What is it? <laughs> I'm just standing there. <laughs> What's come over me? Without thinking, I just blurted out, Objection! <laughs> and I yelled at the top of my lungs, finger outstretched, ready to take <laughs> on my opponent. It's all coming back. Uh, what a rush! <laughs> Detective Gumshoe! You talking to me, pal? Please state the defendant's name for me. Objection! Yeah. Yeah. What are you trying to prove with this futile exercise, Mr. Wright? You'll see, this is a very crucial line of questioning. Actually, Mr. Payne, you can answer the defendant's name, if you please. Well, where is this ridiculous question coming from? The defendant's uh, name is, uh, Maggie Bird. You spelled it wrong in your pronunciation, dick. Oh, uh, I think someone needs to read the court record. What? It says right here that it's Maggie Bird. It looks like the bird caught the cat <laughs> napping. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> he doesn't even, he's like still got amnesia, but he's acting like a fucking <laughs> dick. I have no idea either, sir. As you can see, the victim did indeed leave a name, Maggie. However, the defendant's name is actually spelled Maggie. This is a blatant contradiction of the facts! Bam. Oh! <laughs> How about that? I hadn't even noticed. Nobody notices. <laughs> but, but, but! But maybe the victim didn't know how to spell her name correctly! May I remind you that it was you who said the defendant is accused of killing her lover? If they were truly lovers, it would have been impossible for him to not know her name. No! This is very true. Mr. Payne, 
<laughs> yes, Your Honor. Are you absolutely certain that the defendant and the victim, Dustin Prince, were in fact lovers? Y yes, I am quite certain, Your Honor. They were a well-known couple in the police force. Detective Gumshoe, please testify for the court the relationship between the victim and the defendant. Yes, sir. Dustin and Maggie. Officer Prince and Officer Bird had been going out for half a year. It sounded like they were even talking about marriage. The day of the incident just happened to be the victim's birthday, sir. Maggie, I mean, Officer Bird, had gotten Officer Prince a present. It was something she had gotten over two months ago. I should know, because she came to me to ask what she should get him. Hmm. Oh, those two sound like they were close. Nevertheless, tragedy struck. <laughs> hmm, yes, I see. You may cross-examine the witness, Mr. Wright. On his birthday. Hmm. Dustin and Maggie. Officer Prince and Officer Okay, they've been going up for half a year. How do you know about this? Every yeah, well, year in March, we have a training camp for us cops. Officer Bird was a rookie at that time, and she was... And, and she and Officer Prince seemed to hit it off. They got close, I take it. Actually, I was supposed to go too, but... I couldn't pay the deposit for the trip, Aww. so I didn't. <laughs> He's a fucking Poor detective. Gumption. He's a detective. He's, isn't he their superior? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Detectives are supposed to earn something like uh, like That's six okay. figures. Yeah, it's pretty good. If only I had gotten on that trip. What is it? Oh, I'm uh, nothing, so really. Anyway. He Maggie. Oh, you think they're, he's he's smitten with her? Hmm. It sounded like, oh, that's what he means. If only I'd gone, I would have ended up close to her. Mm -hmm. It sounded like they were even talking about marriage. Marriage? But wasn't the victim eight years older than her? What? You saying a guy's gotta marry someone the same age as himself, pal? Wait a second. What? <laughs> How old is Gumshoe? He's 31. Okay. <laughs> No, that's not what I meant at all! Detective Gumshoe and uh, Dustin were only a year apart, you know. Does Gumshoe have a thing for Birdie? It seems oh, like yeah. it. Ugh, I think this fella has a ways to go before marriage. <laughs> Mind your own business, pal! The day of the incident happened to be the victim's birthday. Alright. The day of the incident? You mean September 6th? Yeah, the victim, Officer Prince, had gotten off duty at 5.30 that day. And 6.28. And since, oh, 6.28 was the murder, 5.30 is when he got off. Yeah. Okay. And since Maggie's night shift hadn't started yet, they went out to the park for a bit. Ah, I remember when I was young and in love. Oh, it was a jolly time. <laughs> That's great, Your Honor. I'm glad you're such a cheerful old man. <laughs> Maggie Bird uh, had gotten him a present. All right. You seem to know a lot about the defendant. Well, that's because uh, I'm a boss and I've got to watch out for my subordinates. But even what she was going to give as a present, isn't that going a bit too far? Hey, pal, watch what you say. I know everything that happens under me. I s if someone so much as squatches there. I really don't need to know that much. <laughs> Mr. Wright, please refrain from badgering the witness. I agree. Even if this witness has a crush on the defendant, <laughs> <laughs> that should not be the point of discussion at this time. <laughs> well, we check it. Why are we talking about this? <laughs> It's all your fault, pal. You're guilty, guilty, guilty. I should have you arrested. I think the good detective is about done here. It was something she had gotten over two months ago. Okay. Over two months ago? Yep. 
She's a very considerate woman, pal. So, what was his birthday present? She got him a glove. <laughs> a single glove? Why would she give him one? Only give him one. Um, actually, Your Honor, the glove in question is a baseball glove. Oh, I see. A baseball glove. Officer Prince was a huge baseball fan. A baseball glove. Hmm. Sure, let's press further. Just now, I believe you said that the present was something that she had gotten over two months ago? Yeah. Are you saying she went out and bought the glove over two months ago? Nah, nothing like that, pal. Then, what is it like? She ordered it. It was custom made. Custom made? The glove was custom made? <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that's what I said. Hmm, <laughs> so the glove was custom made. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Custom made, custom made. <laughs> Your Honor, uh, I really don't see how this glove is related to the case. <laughs> yes, it would seem that there is little relevance. What do you think, Mr. Wright? Do you think the glove is really relevant to the case? <laughs> I was hoping it was going to say custom made. <laughs> <laughs> sure it's relevant, why not? I don't know where this will lead me, but... Of course it is relevant! That glove is the key to the whole case! Holy oh, shit! Oh, Jesus. Yes! Uh... to the max! Now this is the Mr. Right I know! Don't say I'm blessing! <laughs> I'm so happy you're back, sir! I was wondering how long it would take! This is great! Attorney, and I'm back to say I can bluff all the way through the day. I'm ready to take down Max Payne. The prosecutor doesn't have any chance against me. The attorney in the Bernie gonna be in the court all up to uh, uh, so hard to rhyme. Uh, <laughs> we'll be back after this with more Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney.